In the land of the science realm, a lone scientist named Cadence Bodine is tired of working alone to overthrow the tyranny of boredom. She is creating a genetically engineered clone of herself with enhanced reasoning and intellect. However, something is about to go terribly wrong. At last, my project is nearly complete. All that's left is that I have to apply this last chemical, Chemical Z, and I'll have my intelligently enhanced lab partner to be able to work with me. <laughs> We are from the future. The entire world is at stake. Do not make that clone of your... Great Scott! It's too late! Ha ha ha! Being alive, it feels so good. Now I'll have the whole entire world in my hands. For I am a mad scientist. Can you not see my crazy hair? Hey, Doc. How did something that was supposed to be a clone of a female turn into an evil male mad scientist? Well, you see, Marty, you need the precise amount of chemical Z. Too much or too little can screw up the cloning process and turn a clone into a random homicidal maniac. That makes sense, I suppose. Well, the scientific term for this is called lazy storytelling. Have no fear! I know how we can turn the situation in our favor. The mad scientist isn't the only genetically engineered thing I created. They are going to help me fight and bring you down. Why did you create a bunch of Tolkien characters? Well, if you could, wouldn't you? Okay, fair enough. You fools! You have only hurt yourself by doing this. <laughs> by mixing and exposing these chemicals to the doors, they will take me as their leader. What? When I created these dwarves, half of them accidentally developed a genetic mutation. That mutation helps them to be immune to the chemical that you just threw at them. Well, no matter. I'll just have my dwarves kill off your dwarves. ATTACK! There's only one way we can fix this. Cadence. You must go back in time to make sure the right amount of Chemical Z gets distributed. But you must be careful to not be seen by you from the past. I'm allowing you to use my DeLorean. Yes, sir. Wait a minute, this can't be right. All the settings here say that everything's in perfect order. I'll push here to decrease the chemical just in case. Oh no! Bad news, Doc! It turns out that me going back into the past is what caused this fiasco in the first place. Wait, what just happened? It turns out that since these were brand new clones, their immune systems hadn't been built up, so they were doomed to die off anyway. Looks like that's the end of that. What about all that stuff about the entire world being at stake? Oh, I just said that to create a sort of urgency. The truth is that I got paid by this lab's janitor to go back in time to prevent this from happening because he didn't want to clean this mess up. But it looks like him doing that was what caused this mess in the first place. That was anticlimactic. Then what do we do then, Doc? Well, we can't do much now. We can only let this situation play out. Oh well, sorry for the mess, Cadence. Hey guys, I'm the new janitor. Aw, oh, crap.